Hello everyone, my name is Eurofan and today I wanted to make another my review on and today we'll be reviewing Knives Out an amazing movie uh, that's all I can say about this movie the visuals were amazing the props, the set design like almost everything was the, the movie was basically phenomenal if you haven't watched it yet you should probably watch it and it's one of those movies where um, you just watch it constantly because you always catch up more and more details here and there the, there is a huge mystery element to it, but even after the conclusion, you're like, hey, I want to watch this again, because you miss a lot of details. For, I'll give you one detail, for example, there are, there are like hundreds in this movie, but one detail is, uh, for example, one of the characters, while he's saying his monologue to the detective, uh, he said his description is he gave his nan like a big hug or something but in actuality he didn't for example and that's one of the wonder one of the many wonderful like details in this movie for example it's the movies the movies nothing shy of excellent it's it's very good movie there are some i have some gripes here and there you know the the ending was like a little melodramatic in my opinion a little bit like don't get me wrong the ending is very good solid acting all around chris evans again wonderful Ana de armas i thought i heard that name somewhere but apparently i didn't but now i do know a uh, wonderful actor the set design like this movie is filled to like that mansion is so epic you know what i mean like if you watch the movie you'll you'll understand what i mean but it's so cool the mansion and that freaking the uh, what is it's like the circular thing with all the knives and most of them are props anyway uh, which is ironic considering the ending but i won't get into any spoilers um it's so good and like the actual mystery point is not um the quote-unquote murder but more um who's got what in this situation I'll, I'll keep it that brief and that discreet so you don't get spoiled you honestly should go and go ahead and watch this movie because it is that great, you know, I don't know how, I think it got nominated for an Oscar, but I'm not sure if it won. Uh, then again, it was like racing with one of the greatest movies ever, like Parasite and Joker. I think they came in the same year, wait, I'm gonna actually pull that up, wait. Yeah, 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 here, it's 2019, yep. I'm not surprised it didn't win, I think, it's a very good movie, but it was up against Joker and Parasite, you know what I mean? And I think 1917, but don't quote me on that. Uh, it, it was a solid movie. Daniel Craig, again, wonderful act actor. I was a little, like, rough on his American accent at first. But, like, after you watch the movie again and again, you get used to it. And it's pretty fun seeing him in an American accent so over the top that it works somehow. And every expression gives you a hint of something, you know what I mean? Everything in the movie is, like, guiding you towards something, it feels like. Or hinting something towards you. And you have to pay attention for some details. So that's why it's fun to, it's actually a good detective movie is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't throw you everything um, at once. It wants you to solve some loopholes that it doesn't solve itself. Like the mystery is solved, the, the death thing is completely wrapped in cartoons and solved perfectly. But some motivations of some people are not solved perfectly, for example. Um, like for example, the character that plays Chris Evans, his character motivations and resolutions don't match up perfectly as what the uh, movie is trying to put it up against so you have to actually watch it again and again to understand why he acts like this way and why he acts for example sympathetic or asympathetic towards our character so it's a wonderful movie um all all the compliments praise to it the set design the props almost all the actors were perfect i'd say all the actors were perfect even because they were awesome, like maybe one or two bad scenes here and there, maybe, possibly. Uh, and the background details also in this movie are very excellent. Um, that's all I gotta say about this movie, excellent movie, plug it in this to my uh, 0 to 30 um, scale here. I'm giving this movie a solid 26. It's amazing. It's, it's almost, it's shy of being perfect, it's just shy of being perfect in my opinion. Um, that was the video. Thank you for watching. I hope I see you in my next video. I hope I see you in every one of my videos. Um, that's about it, really. Bye.